Hi guys, so here we are again. Um, this is a video I want to put out to open it up to you guys, see what you think. I want your suggestions on where to go with this, to be quite honest. Um, you know, I've made this great generator that puts out a healthy amount of volts and um, I just seem to be playing around with it really. It's not really going anywhere, so I'd like some constructive ideas, uh, if there's something else I need to construct, if there's something else I need to do, you know, um, just give me some direction please, that would be really great. So, um, I don't really need to go through the setup for the motor because I've already been through that in several videos before. Uh, the generator, if you want to check it out, um, I put it out under the title of HV Generator. Nothing to do with Gerard Morin, um, but there we go. It's exactly in the same style of his uh, big cylindrical motor that he had those big neodymium magnets in. Again, in the previous videos of this particular generator, the HV Generator series, um, check them out you'll see all the bits and pieces you'll even see a close-up on the coils and things like that um, that I did for someone who requested me to go into it in a bit deep, bit more detail so um, right I'm gonna I'm gonna run it show you the output of the generator as it is um, I've got this transformer here which is um, Yeah, detail's not that great, but you can roughly see it. Uh, it's got about five five kilovolts uh, on the output, um, and I can run it through this series of three spark gaps, adjustable spark gaps, with the tungsten rod. Um, and yeah, it's great. It makes sparks, but where do we go from there? Um, answers on the postcard, please. Okay, here we go. Just need to connect the motor. 